Hey guys, and welcome to FP29 Breaks. Today I'm going to be going over part two of my Felix Potvin card collection, and I'll be taking a look at the year 1994 and 95. Um, I'm missing about eight cards uh, from that year, from all the sets that came out with a Potvin card. Uh, so let's get right to it and let's have a look at the cards that I have of Felix Potvin. So the first one is his Upper Deck Be a Player card. This is the base card. He had a another base called Then and Now, uh, showing a picture of Pot Van as a kid wearing uh, some really old brown uh, leather goalie equipment. So that one I don't have, so hopefully I will get that one soon. Uh, Don Ross's second year, this is his base card. And they had a few inserts. This one is his Western Conference goalie uh, Don Ross Dominators goalie insert card with Balfour and Ear Bay. And his second Don Ross Elite Series card. So this one is numbered out of 10,000. And then we have his Masked Marvels card. A really nice design here. And um, there's a film over it. And when you remove it, the film is like this. It's kind of, you can see Pop Van's um, face there. Got like a reflective material, kind of acts like a mirror, but if you shine it in light, you can see Pavan's face. Cool, eh? All right, we have his uh, Top's Finest card. Um, he also has a refractor version, which I'm missing. His 94-95 Flare card. All right, this one is an extra thick card, thicker than normal cards. And we have his Flare base card and the Fleer Netminders insert card and we have his Leaf base card and Leaf had several inserts here we have his Crease Patrol I'm not sure if this one is numbered it's not numbered all right and we have this one is numbered is uh, 1994 Gold Leaf All-Stars insert Numbered out of 10,000, and he shares this card with Johnny Van Beesbrook. Next, we have his uh, Leaf Limited base card. It's a really nice, shiny foil. And we have his Parker's base. And there's his Parky Gold variant card. Uh, they also had a Swedish edition. He didn't have a Swedish edition Parker's base, but he did have a Swedish edition vintage card. So you can see here, the SE stands for Swedish edition. And we have his pinnacle card. Really nice uh, glove safe pose here. And we have his ring collection parallel and his artist proof parallel now this card used to be one of his hottest cards it went for about a hundred bucks at its peak um it's still pretty tough to find but you can should be able to find it uh around uh, 30 dollars or less now now pinnacle came out with a lot of great insert cards this year it's probably one of their best and most innovative uh you know times uh during you know, they were just really good at making insert cards. So this one, the goaltending greats, was only available in jumbo packs. And this would definitely, definitely, you know, make any goalie collector want to spend money on jumbo packs just trying to get these insert cards. It's borderless and it's really nice and it just captures, you know, the essence of being a goaltender. Um, I think every goalie in this set is shown making a save this one is one of my favorites, the Northern Lights. I love that, um, you know, the maple leaf on the left, bottom left. You know, that just goes right into his maple leaf's uh, insignia right in the middle of his chest. And, uh, you know, playing for a Canadian team, being a Canadian, it's just an awesome card. And these cards were only available in Canadian hobby packs, so they weren't easy to get as well. So that's his Northern lights cards uh pinnacle also has this one team pinnacle and this one was one of his rarest cards um he shared it with patrick waugh 
and this car was worth around $100 at one time. Um, I think you should be able to find this on eBay now for 50 bucks, but still, it's a really nice, really rare card of Potvin. This is 94.95 score card. This is his score base, and there's also a gold parallel, and they call it a uh, gold line. And I think there is a score platinum edition also, but I don't have that one. And we have his select score select card another really nice photo you can see the puck there so it's either he made the save or it went off the crossbar but i'm going to go with he made the save and this is the gold version of that card and now we're going to upper deck this is upper deck sp and he's got the upper deck sp die cut This is a stadium club card, stadium club base, and the stadium club subset called Shutouts. Now, both these cards have a, a stadium club first day issue with a stamp on the corner. Um, I don't have that for both of these cards, so that's something I got to hunt down. And these are his stadium club members only, so if you were a member of stadium club, you could uh, mail in your address and join the club and you would get these uh, these cards, you know, exclusive cards with the top stadium club member stamp on them. So these two, um, they're not that hard to find. You can find them on eBay for around like five bucks or less, but they're really nice and uh, they're a cool addition to anyone's spot van collection. So this is the Tops slash OPG um, set. They had three cards on the set of with Potvin in it. Team of the Future, Tools of the Game, and a regular base. Now all three of these had something called a special effects card um, with the same photo, but they had some kind of uh, something similar to Cracked Ice parallels from OPG Chrome or OPG Platinum. So I don't have it for the tools of the game or team of the future, but I do have it of his base. And uh, you can see here, it's kind of glittery in the back. So that was a nice uh, rare uh, parallel cards that were inserted into these packs. Here we have his Fleer Ultra card. Um, here's his Premier Padman insert card. Really nice gold embossing on the back. And this upper deck base card, it's, he's just, uh, you know, Paulin's trying to let you know how many pucks he saved during that season as he was bombarded with pucks. This came with, uh, there was also an electric ice version, which I have here in this nice case. So the electric ice version, I believe there were like one per box. So it's pretty hard to get the uh, Potman Electric Ice. And we have the Award Predictor card, Vesna Trophy. Unfortunately, he never won a Vesna, but he was pretty close uh, coming in, I think. Um, I can't remember, but he was uh, had some votes for the Vesna that year. It's a nice card. And finally, we have um, his SP Insert. So this is... Uh, the regular SP and the die cut SP. All right, so I'm missing eight cards from that year of Potvin. I'm gonna have to hunt those down. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. See you guys later.